Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny. Another No One Survived tutorial. This one is on all the mine locations, what they look like, and what is in each of them. There are four mines in the game, and I'll show you on the map their locations now. You have one here, which is limestone and copper, entrance and exit. You have another one down here, iron and saltpeter, and I'm going to show you on the map um, as we're getting there what they look like and everything else. You have the clay and silver down here and the coal and aluminum here. So you break the map into four quadrants. You have one in the southwestern quadrant, one in the southeastern quadrant, one in the very westernly quadrant, and one in the northeast. So now I'm going to get into clips where I'm getting to the mines, showing you what's inside them and their exact locations, what they look on the entrance and the exits. So you know what to be looking out for when you get in the area. I really hope this tutorial helps y'all. This is the location just southwest of the trader. There's an entrance and an exit, so you can just walk all the way through. This is the iron and saltpeter mine. This is the car repair merchant, and if you just walk down the hill, you'll see this mountain here. This is what's going to be around you. And then this is where you're going to get all the saltpeter and iron. There's an iron right there. And I'll show you what saltpeter looks like, just in case you are unsure. There'll be one zombie every 40 or 50 feet, as per normal, I believe. I haven't seen any in this cave yet. Uh, there's some more iron. Saltpeter's right in front of us. Oh, here's some saltpeter. And here's some saltpeter. This is what it looks like. So in this cave, you'll find iron and saltpeter. So bring a cart or a truck full of backpacks and fill them all up if you're doing a metal run. If you're coming in from the other side... This is the saltpeter and iron mine. If you want to come in the entrance by the road, this is what it looks like. I'm trying to include both entrances and exits, or entrances and exits, depending on which side you're coming from. I prefer the side by the trader, because we are always at the car repair trader. I don't know why. It just feels a little laggy right over here. But I have no waypoints to give you, so you know that you're there from this angle. So, because you're just in the middle of the forest. So, but I'm trying to show the entrance and exits to all the mines. So, that's that one. And we are now at the clay and silver mine location, which if you need a waypoint, I think they're all off the railroad tracks because we're following the railroad tracks and we are finding most of the mines that way. Thank you to Moon for running this map with me like three times, trying to find all these mines, but the clay and silver one, you'll see the, uh, there's like a little house up there, railroad tracks here, but the best way to find it is this is the apartment building. So we're right off the um, railroad tracks beside the apartment building. And this is clay and silver. You need to know what silver looks like. Let's go ahead and run in here so I can show you. I had to break one to make sure I had... I was telling you correct information on which mine this was. Uh, where is the silver? I should have broke one from far back. Ah, there's one. This is what silver looks like. And of course, you know what clay looks like, I'm sure. There's silver, but just in case, that's one version of clay. There's another one that is a darker version. And this mine does go all the way through, so you can come in one side and out another. I'll bring you over to the other side in the next clip. But of course, as per normal, we're going to put a sign down so that we always know where to find each, um, each metal we're out looking for. Let's assemble that, take our hammer out of our hand, and clay and silver. Bam. Now we'll always have it on the map. See you in a sec. So because I misspoke earlier, I'm going to let you know now there is a crawler in the clay and silver mine. You know, when I said there's only one zombie every 40 or 50 feet. Yeah, it is one zombie, but it is the hardcore crawler. So I just wanted to put that in so nobody can say that I misinformed them. Don't die. Don't die. Just so that you know, the other side of the mine looks like this. Again, nothing to really waypoint you to. So I'm going to consider this the exit. Oh, there is a house over there. That might be helpful. But on the map, uh, we came in here and the mine goes all the way back to here. So I guess the railroad tracks over here, you could waypoint to the left of or the west of that, south of the apartment complex. But I think I'm going to stick to this one. It's going to be an easier way to get in. But here is the exit to that mine. And we are at the coal and aluminum mine. In case you don't know, this is what the coal looks like, and this is what the um, aluminum looks like in this mine. I don't know if this one goes all the way back or not. We'll find out, and I will, uh, if it does, I'll clip in the exit. But the front, oh, we're a little, we're a little breathy. And I'll show you on the map where we are, too. The front looks like this. It's like at the top of a mountain, and you got some houses down there, a zombie right there. 
And on the map, we are right here in this little, like, wiggly, uh, or those Etch-a-Sketch kind of doodle areas, right in front of these four brown buildings, just north of the railroad tracks. So, yeah, this is, uh, what did I say? Coal and aluminum. Still seeing where the exit is in the coal and aluminum cave, if there is one. And this area looked really neat, so I figured I would include it in the tutorial. Because it is super neat looking. You can't, like, loot or interact with anything yet. But I guess we'll try this way first. I'll bring you back if I find an exit. Just to confirm, there is no exit to the uh, coal and aluminum. Or coal and, what was that? Coal, yeah, coal and aluminum mine. So you only have that one that I showed you on the previous clip. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware. Just so I can cover all the metals in the game. These are metal fields that have a little bit of everything, I believe, in them. I can see iron. I can see silver, copper, clay. I don't know on saltpeter. But yeah, these metal fields are huge. They do respawn from what I understand. And they've got a little bit of everything. Since we're doing a metal tutorial, I feel these are good to include. And this is where we are on the map for that location. I just showed you in the last clip. I just realized I did not open up my map and show you. These are all throughout the map, though. And last but not least, I know I showed this mine itself on my how to get or where to find the limestone tutorial, but I wanted to include it in the all metals because it is limestone and copper mine. It is at this location, directly north of what I call Trader 5, um, off the railroad tracks. Again, railroad tracks are your friend with finding mines, so it's right. Railroad tracks are there. The mine is here. This does have an entrance and an exit. Uh, the exit, it's super far in, but we're going to go ahead and run it so we can show you what the exit looks like also. And here we have limestone, and there we have copper. So this is if you're looking for limestone or copper. Let me get to the end, and then I'll bring you back for the exit. And if you learned anything new on this tutorial or you are enjoying No One Survived, I am uploading tutorials daily, so make sure you check back or subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, and as always, um, I don't know why I said as always, because this is not the, at the absolute end. We got one more piece, the exit. It's been a long day. It's six hours to get this one tutorial done of just driving around and trying to find these mines. And again, thank you, Moon, for riding around with me all day. But six hours in real life just walking around, trying to walk the railroad tracks, find the mines, then drive back and try and... It's been a long process. But I hope... I mean, it was worth it if one person learned something from one of my tutorials, then I am a happy camper. If one person even enjoys one of my tutorials, then you know what? Well done. The perks of being a small YouTuber. The little things see you in a sec and here we are at the exit to the limestone and copper tutorial it would have been closer to go to that road down there instead of having to run all the way across if you're looking for what you might consider the entrance but i consider this one the exit um but yeah i think parking on this road and running across would probably be a whole lot faster so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and like i said there are a lot more to come we've already posted four or five up Everything from basic how to purify water to how to charge batteries to merchant guides and all that are headed your way or already have been uploaded. So, as always, before I go, remember when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Oh, uh, is that backwards or forward? No, that was forwards. Later, y'all.